we are back for another episode of the Declutter series. Hey guys, as you can see by the title today, we are back for, I believe this is episode two of my home speed clean declutter series that I'm doing this January. If you haven't seen the first episode of the series, it is where we declutter, organize and clean this beauty room full makeup speed declutter. It is so satisfying, however, today, is my kitchen version. I've been waiting to tackle this kitchen. I ended up donating so much, cleaning everything within an inch of its life, and honestly, some of the most satisfying time lapses to come. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. If you do like this sort of content, you are definitely gonna love sticking around here. We have got the laundry room coming next as well. Right, without further ado, let's get into it. Today is the day we tackle the kitchen front room diner. This is a overview of how it's looking so far. I have taken down all of the Christmas decorations, of course, but I have left it in its raw form of like stuff from Christmas, stuff from recent orders that need organizing. So everything's just chucked on the side. Here is my big bag of organization goodies, everything from mango wood jars to spice jars. If you haven't seen this video already, it's a full B&M organized come shop with me and haul. I will link it in the screen here and down below. The sofa needs a good little spruce up. We've got Jerry's area that we're going to revamp as well. This is all of Jerry's Christmas presents that need to find homes in the cupboards here of where his stuff is. We've got all the kitchen cabinets as well and I've got a bag here ready to start putting some stuff in to get rid of or recycle etc. I have actually disclaimer gone through my food and everything already because to be honest, it was just a really quick, easy job. So I actually got a big bag of uh, food that I'm donating to the food bank. Stuff that's still in date, but just stuff I haven't reached for. Like for example, kidney beans, things like that. I just don't reach for them, but I've had them in the cupboard for months. So I'll buy them when I need them. And for now, someone else can make use of them. All of these cupboards as well, that's a dishwasher. The thing that I love about the kitchen is keeping the sides clear. Like to me, that is a really important factor. I do love my glass jars in the corner. I think that just kind of adds a nice element of dividing the front room with the kitchen. And then of course, over here is the dining room. I've still got a few Christmas things that need to go in the garage, but they're all packed away. And then this is the laundry room. Now, depending on how we get on with today, this will either be a joint video with the laundry room or the laundry room will be coming next in the series. I am the most excited about this room because as you can see, sneak peek over here, I've got some stuff from Timu here. I've also got in the cupboard some new stuff that I picked up that I've been desperate to get organizing. The dining room as well, I keep it really minimal. There's nothing really to declutter in here. So that's why this is a kitchen video, but obviously the kitchen, we have got a lot. So this is just an overview. We were also very fortunate to get a coffee machine for Christmas. So I want to make a nice little station here. We need to get rid of the coffee in the cupboards here as well. It's just all a bit meh. We've got way too many glasses. To be honest, I want to replace all of our glasses. I just haven't seen the right ones yet. So when that time comes along, I will be replacing the big glasses and the little glasses here. We've got these horrible plastic containers that I am just not okay with. I reach for this tea and biscuits tea every single day. So I'm going to be replacing in these giving this a good clean because I mean just look at the build up of bits of coffee and tea and whatever that comes out so I replace all of those nice glass jars oh gosh I'm so excited in here as well we've got like odd cups and odd stuff so it's all gonna get a nice revamp and probably the biggest of them all oh this is so embarrassing to show you but my cleaning cupboard yeah I like cleaning products what can I say? Not to mention actually in the cupboards, I've got, for example, down here, this one goes right back. And to be honest, I, I hate this design. I wish it had one of those pulley out systems because I can't get to the stuff in the back. I do keep like my big pots in the back there. So ones I don't reach for that often, but that I need. So this just needs a massive declutter. I'm gonna get rid of loads of trays because some of them, if not most of them, are either not used or they are so scratched beyond the point that they stick and they're a nightmare. So 
completely need to redo that and I've even got <laughs> my anti scratch stuff from Ikea that I need to put down as well. Cutlery drawer, massive de declutter and I've also got my new stuff from Timu here so I'm going to put those, replace them etc. The pan drawer is fine, that's like the only one that I need to just take things out, give it a vacuum and uh, redo but that's all good. Cupboards here, we've got odd jars that need reorganizing, extra stuff in the back that needs to go. My pasta, I just reorganized. These are all my oils and cooking sprays on this turntable as well. So that's fine, but I've got my penne, rice, fusilli, spaghetti, odd pasta that I get from HomeSense. And then in here is just our jars. So to be honest, this is pretty organized. The bottom, I just need to kind of rejig and reorganize that a little bit. But like I said, because I went through my food, it seems to be all fine. In this one, We've just got a bunch of other stuff that does just need, again, to be pulled out, reorganized, things like this. I keep all of my sachets in color coordinated orders. It goes from red, orange, yellow, green through. It just looks nicer on the eye and I need to do that for these. And then this is our tinned goods, which as I said, I've been through, but I need to kind of find some kind of system for that. I'm not gonna go through every single cupboard in my kitchen, but basically we're gonna start with this cupboard because I am desperate. As you can see, I did have some kind of organization system going on with these storage containers, which fit very nicely in here, and I will be reusing again. However, this is all medical stuff. Uh, it, it's just, there's so much we don't use, there's probably expired stuff, etc. So, if you've seen my Timu organization video, which is linked in the screen here, then you would have seen I picked up this beauty, which is a medicine chest, and I am ready to organize everything into here, nice and clean, and one sort of spot accessible, so that will free up this entire cluttered space and then we can just have one medical box so let's do that first you're gone now or you call me back yeah i know that yeah i know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah i know that mm. once you've seen all the things all the places i hope it means Okay, there we go. I know that doesn't look super organized, but it's not about that. It's about it fitting, being compact, and that is. So on the top here is all the stuff that we grab the most. So like our vitamin C, paracetamols, and then these were just like little bits that are left around. So perfect. Close that up, seal it, and I did put on the handle. I so hope this fits or I'm going to be upset. Oh my gosh. Yes. Perfect. So perfect. This is all the stuff that is going in the bin. There's like out of date mouthwash, medical mouthwash. I cut off tablets like this. So there's like, there's only two left in this whole thing. So it doesn't make sense to keep it. I emptied the plasters and decanted them into a little container. Look at all of this junk. And that was all just in there in your cupboard. Goes to show guys, check your cupboards. Home to me, once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Now time to give it a little clean. Just disinfect. Not that there's been much in here, as you can see. It was all kind of static stuff, but get it all clean nevertheless. I've literally got free space in here as well, so I'm hoping to maybe put some other stuff like Jerry's stuff in here or some other bits and bobs to store too, but there we go. The really good thing about this kitchen as well, can you see, I can change the height of things. So if you've got that in your kitchen, a lot of them do, then make sure you take advantage so you can really utilize the space. So like our batteries are probably not as reached for, so they're gonna go on the bottom shelf along with my vitamins, cause they kind of go together like that. The medical box I'm gonna put back on the top there and then I've just got two containers to go here. So I'm literally just gonna put the random and the bits and bobs and then the only thing I've got to store in here is my sun cream ready for the summer. And that is it. What a huge, huge transformation and declutter. 
I then carried on and completed the rest of this sideboard cupboard thing. It's mainly filled with Jerry's bits and bobs, so as this was after Christmas, I had lots of his treats that he got for Christmas presents, so I did some reorganizing. I have these same containers, they are all from B&M, and then I went over with the vacuum and gave it a nice little vacuum up. And then the next part of this uh, makeover is Jerry's little food area. So I used this Pet Fabulosa to clean where he eats because, of course, chemicals can be harmful for dogs so just really keep an eye on what products you are using i also wiped down the sides just because i don't really do this like it's only once a month once every other month maybe that I actually wiped down the sides. And then if you did watch my B&M haul, this is actually from HomeSense, I sneaked it in at the end. We are doing a full little transformation of Jerry's area and this is his new food bowl and water bowl and it just looks so cute. Moving on to our one and only kitchen cupboard that's up on the wall. This is where I keep all of our coffee and tea and also our glasses. So as you can see here, these are the containers I got from B&M back in that video I just mentioned. That is linked down in the description box if you haven't seen it by the way. I am just checking the heights and what is actually going to fit in this cupboard and how I can make the most use of it while making sure it still looks very aesthetic. I spent ages jigging it around, hence why I didn't film everything, but this is what it looks like in the end and I am so happy with it. I've got so much to hand. Moving into the under sink cupboard where all the cleaning items are, this is such a big declutter that I managed to do and just to reorganize, I had these containers in there that I was using but they weren't being used efficiently because they weren't actually categorizing items. So the way I've been doing everything is kind of pulling things out and putting to side what I use the most and then basing my new layout of the cupboard around that. I also had another one of these containers you just see me put the coffee beans in but this is for our dishwasher tablets. Moving on to the pan cupboard and where I keep some appliances as well as all of my baking trays. I managed to recycle loads of my baking trays because they were just not sticking and they needed to go. So I'm going to be replacing a couple of those. And again, I sort of did the same system where I pulled things out that I'm using the most and made sure it was at the front so the most accessible and all the stuff I don't use as much around the corner at the back. The drawers, I knew I wanted to transform this middle drawer because it's really deep. It's just difficult to know what to do with it. So you'll see in this video, sorry for this clip as well, by the way, my camera decided to focus on the roasting bags instead of the drawer, but you can still see what I'm doing. I decided to put all of my sort of tabletop appliances in this drawer because it just made sense. They were bigger and bulkier, so they were taking up the most room. And again, they are so easy to grab. They're right at my fingertips in the drawer. I did the same for this top drawer, but this was more of a reorganize because I do use most of my utensils. Um, so as you can see, I just gave it a little vacuum out, a disinfect, and I just rejigged a few things. The final cupboard then that I decluttered was my baking cupboard with also all of my spices on the top. This cupboard's really awkward. I wish it was drawers, but it is a cupboard. So I just went through all my spices and got rid of all of the ones that are out of date. It's really surprising how many were out of date. It is now pitch black outside. I cannot believe how long this has taken me and I haven't actually touched these cupboards. Like I said, I don't think they actually need much doing anyway, but I have done the full whack. So decluttered loads of stuff in here, including tons of spices, hence why that's empty, because a load of them were out of date. The drawers don't look that different, but they are clean and organized. And then in this drawer, I've put all of my 
like gadgets here. So my Nutribullet, the hand blender, the whisk, and then also my chopping uh, things as well, because I actually reach for those quite a lot. I was really strategic and pulled, when I pulled everything out, I sort of made a pile of the stuff that I reached for the most, and then the pile of stuff that kind of is less important. And when I was reconfiguring the cabinets, it just made a lot more sense. I also put down that stuff to protect the cabinet. I've got all my big pots still back there, our pizza paddle for outside, but I've got all my glass bowls here now because they were in the back here and I reach for the glass bowls all the time in the measuring cups. So right at the front, the slow cooker, I use that often, but not too often. The colanders I use all the time. So I've just got them right at the front and then I've got my glass baking dishes and then my tins as well, stacked nicely at the back. And I decluttered loads of the tins that were all old and then in the cupboard here this is where the toaster lives because I don't like stuff out on the side I I'm I put the toaster in and out of here we've been doing that for ages but now it's got its own shelf I reconfigured the shelf so I made it higher so I moved it from that little dot to upwards this is massively decluttered as well so we've got our serving boards then actual chopping boards and then some other little bits and bobs that we use under the sink I am so happy with this transformation it's just way more decluttered and organized so I've got all my food bin liners and my gloves so stuff I don't actually reach for that often in the back basket all the folded cleaning cloths in this one I've got my dishwasher tablets in this big acacia wood jar just my dish matic and everything ready to go there because again I don't like stuff out on the sides food bin and then in the back of here, I've got the stuff again that I don't use all that often. So the floor cleaner, the bleach, like stuff I would have to, oh, and then like the carpet cleaner, stuff that you kind of just use maybe once a week or so. And then in this one is my daily cleaning stuff. So I've also got the washing up liquid, the glass cleaner, anti-backs. This is nearly finished. It's a floor cleaner. My flash bicarb of soda, which I use on the surfaces daily. Uh, and then just one packet of Zaflora wipes. I had so many packets of wipes, but I've got them all decluttered. I did wonder whether to keep my acacia wood jars out here with the coffee beans and stuff, but like I said, I like it as empty as possible. I did put these acacia wood serving chopping boards here. I just think that they add a little something without being too much. Obviously that goes back in the cupboard. I did add this little B&M have a rest wooden spoon rest. I was going to put it over by the cooker because I think it's meant to be for like cooking but I use a spoon rest more here. So we've got our kettle and then obviously the coffee machine. They match and actually they look absolutely fine. That doesn't bother me with how cluttered it is there. So all good. And then up in the cupboard here is where I have transformed the most. I moved the shelf up a notch so just one little notch but that allowed me to have this big jar in here with the coffee beans. So I'll have the coffee beans in this one. I've got this one here ready with my scoop for, I've got some decaf coffee grinds on the way. So that will be the decaf coffee grinds. Then all the acacia wood jars here, that's decaf coffee sweetener. And then this is tea and biscuits tea. And then at the back where you can see the two bubbles, that's just our instant, uh, our instant coffee is there, sorry. Instant coffee is there, sugar and the normal tea. Glasses have all stayed the same, but again, I've decluttered a lot of them too. In this cupboard here is where the cups live. So we've got the glass cups here and then our double insulated, we've got the espressos, all that. And then this one is where all of my mugs live, like all the odd ones, like the nice ones. Um, and this is our milk coffee thing. Over around here, we have got everything reorganized which is all of jerry's stuff at the top here across there one empty container too i moved our glass storage containers over here odd plastic ones the plug-ins spare bags and then all of our batteries and chargers excuse me my man this one didn't really change but again i decluttered it it's just my bath and body works and my hand soap collection all of my scents this is my cupboard of shame i have too many i know and then finally the cupboard we started on with the medical bots bits and bobs uh, my batteries and all the vitamins as well i also did add cherry i also did add my apple cider vinegar down there because i usually take that when i take my vitamins so it made sense and yes that is it excuse me my man trap you in the cupboard oh and how can i forget of course jerry's new station which i think looks lovely dash and dine and his water do you have some water look some water 
Do you like your new bowl? Now you haven't got to lean down to eat, like the prince you are. It looks like Andy's just brought this down as well. I don't know, oh, it's a Google. It's another one of our Google things. We've got a big tablet here. We've got a little one over there, but I don't know if this can live here. It makes sense to live there, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's so standy. This is how bad I am, guys. I can't have stuff out, like even though it is a nice white one, like, We'll see, I might have to reconfigure. And voila! I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of this series. It was so satisfying to declutter the kitchen. Also, we have a vlog coming this Sunday where I show you everything that I ended up donating and we actually take it to the charity shop. It's a little cute vlog with Nan, so I think you're gonna like that. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my content. I have that vlog coming Sunday and I have got way more content to see us through February, so I hope you all can stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some videos over on the screen here for you so you can check out some more of my content and spend some more time with me. And without further ado, I will see you all in my video on Sunday. Ciao.